Hi, we're here on the Christian Fellowship Council radio show. Voice of the Kids is one of the sponsors, voiceofthekids.org. Uh, Dr. Surajit Khanna is a champion of Voice of the Kids. He is a advocate for child safety. He is a champion of Voice of the Kids and he is a servant of the underserved community. Also with us is John Marks and he is the, look, what a beautiful face. Look at that. He's driving. And also we have Donna Ivory, who is the queen of the program. Well, <laughs> yes, yes. We, well, there she is. She's putting on her crown. We have a message for today's society about what is Labor Day. Bring in Dr. Connor. Give a short talk about what is Labor Day. Dr. Connor. Hey, thank you very much, Gary. And before we start it, we need to I always start with praise of the God because without God's grace, without God's blessings, without God's mercy, we could not even be here. I really want all of us to just pray that all the things that's happening around us because of pandemic, because of Black Lives Matter, because of all this protest going on, killing going on. Lord, please save us. Please save all the children because they are innocent. They don't know what they're doing. So please give the intelligence to all the police force so that they do, they do not pull out the gun and kill anybody else. All the innocent people needs to be saved. So let's humbly request all the audience to pray for the citizens of the United States, especially the children, those who have been affected. Well, as Gary pointed out, Labor Day is knocking the door and wonderful message I would like to give it to all the people of the United States. It's not only for the laborers, it is all workers, we all work. So this message is for all American workers and usually observed on the first Monday in September. Well, that's official, but we need to observe every single day because we need to respect the workers. We need to respect those who are contributing to this country. It was created by the labor movement and was made into a federal holiday in 1894. Labor Day weekend also symbolizes the end of summer for many Americans. Well, I don't feel that yet because it's still hot and is celebrated with parties, street parades and athletic events. Well, that's all good about the celebration. But what really happened? Why do we celebrate Labor Day? Well, in late 1800s, at the height of the Industrial Revolution in the United States, the average American worked 12 hours a day, 12 hours a day and seven days a week in order to eke out a basic living. Well, eke out, that means just for basic living, we, they used to work 12 hours a day. Well, 1800, despite restrictions in some states, children are young as five or six toiled in mills, factories, and mines across the country, earning a fraction of their adult counterparts' wages. People of all ages, particularly the very poor and recent immigrants, often faced extremely unsafe working conditions with insufficient access to fresh air, sanitary facilities, and bricks. As manufacturing increasingly supplanted agriculture, labor unions grew more prominent and vocal. They began organizing strikes and rallies to the protest poor conditions and compel employers to renegotiate hours and pay. Well, that's a little bit about the history, but then what happened in 1886? Well, turned violent during this period, including the infamous Haymarket riot in which several Chicago policemen and workers were killed. Others gave rise to long-standing traditions. 
On September 5, 1882, 10,000 workers took unpaid time off to march from City Hall to Union Square in New York City, holding the first Labor Day parade in the United in the U.S. history. So it was September 5, 1882. The idea of working men's holiday celebrated on the first Monday in September. So apparently September 5th, 1882 was a Monday, I believe. In the wake of massive unrest and in an attempt to repair ties with American workers, Congress passed an act making Labor Day a legal holiday in the District of Columbia and the territories. On June 28, 1894, President Grover Cleveland signed into the law. Labor Day is still celebrated in cities and towns across the United States with parades, picnics, barbecues, fireworks, displays, and other public gatherings. For many Americans, particularly children and young adults, it represents the end of the summer and the start of the back to school day.